嗯，然后那个人，那那只是个小人，在上面飞，所以他只是看到了，那他就他就想想看是什么样的。嗯，很棒，好，我都是。先就这个，然后呢，嗯，那个鸟，嗯，它发现了一个，嗯，一个王冠，王冠，王冠，所以它就拿到了。嗯，非常棒，好。然后有一个，然后可是这个都发生了在在早上发生了。嗯，就是。I always advocate using the games that you already have in your closet in order to inspire language. There's a ton of great games that you probably already own that you would be able to use for either speaking Mandarin, Spanish, French, whatever your language is. However, this game you might not have. It's called Story Cubes. I discovered it recently at a girlfriend's shop, and I love it. It's basically these little squares that have pictures on them. And the idea is that you shake up the squares, you throw them out on the table, and the kids pick whichever square inspires them, and they tell a story about it. Then you go around the group or around the table if you're at dinner and each person tells a little piece of this story. The kids love it because you never know when their story, where the story is going to go. And I love it as well. So we play it as a family in English, but we also play it with our Mandarin speaking babysitter. It's amazing how the, the game itself works really well for all different ages. So again, my four-year-old and my 11-year-old can both play the game. Um, we set up a couple parameters that may work for your family as well. One is that people are not allowed to criticize each other. So regardless of how the story goes, you've got to run with it. Even if you don't want a fairy princess or you don't want a dragon in your story, it doesn't matter. Uh, you need to stick with whatever it is that the person has come up with for their story. Um, the other thing is um, that you have to set a limit. Um, my eight-year-old daughter enjoys uh, going on and on and on about her story, which is fantastic. But unfortunately, 10 minutes into a fairy princess story, you might lose somebody. So typically, we set a limit of like a minute and a half or two minutes. If your kids don't abide by that, you may want to keep uh, a little timer. But for the most part, my kids pretty much stick with that, which is great. Um, and basically the kids just tell the stories and they pick out one cube, any cube that inspires them until all the cubes are gone and the story's over. So the story's over when the last person picks the last cube. Um, we do this in Mandarin, the kids enjoy it. It's a super um, easy game to travel with. Um, it's great to bring to restaurants because it doesn't take up a whole lot of space so you can even play it while you're having dinner. Um, and it's also just a great game in general to bring with you on trips. You can stick it in your purse. It comes in a cute little box. There's tons of different versions of them, um, and any game really works well. So anyway, let me know if this worked for your family. I'd love to see any videos that you guys have made, and here's one of ours. Um, yeah, oh, nigga, 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 nigga,没有没有所有的东西，然后他就找到了一个水晶，他喝了，然后他他就他就喝饱了，嗯，非常棒，好，然后他喝饱了以后呢，又继续去带上他的宠物的小鸟，还有带上他那个小小的人，嗯，继续